In this lesson, we are going to practice drawing simple models of, atom, of atoms, starting with the element sodium. We know that sodium, given to us, is the mass number of 23. Using the periodic table, we can find the atomic number of sodium as number 11. Number 11 tells us the number of protons inside the nucleus of our sodium. I'll draw a simple circle to represent the nucleus of our sodium atom and place 11 positive protons inside the nucleus. The atomic number, number 11, tells us the protons, the identity of the atom. Also inside of the nucleus, we know our neutral neutrons, and we find the neutrons by simply subtracting mass number minus atomic number. I will place 12 neutral neutrons inside the nucleus of our sodium atom. Notice that the weight of the nucleus, 11 plus 12, indeed matches the mass number, 23. The periodic table also gives us great information about how many electron shells, called orbitals, or energy levels, and how many electrons in the outermost energy level. Notice that 1, 2, 3, third period down we find sodium. I know that we'll have three energy levels, and that sodium is found in the first family, and that therefore we'll have one valence electron in that outermost energy level. Notice that we have 11 electrons to place, that the electron number must match the proton number because atoms are indeed neutral. In the first energy level, I'll just draw half a shell. We know that the energy levels are a complete circle, but I'll just save space. We place two electrons, and then it's full. Do you remember why it fills at two? Remember that first energy level only has two electrons in it, hydrogen, helium. The first energy level is then full. We add a second energy level to go through the next eight atoms, those eight elements in the second period, lithium through neon and giving us one more to arrive at sodium. So in that first energy level, a maximum of two electrons. In the second energy level, we have a maximum of eight electrons, giving us that third energy level with one electron left. Two plus eight plus one is the electron arrangement for the 11 electrons for the sodium atom. I'll go across the row for nitrogen with 14 as its mass number. Nitrogen 14. So here I'll write the symbol nitrogen, its mass number of 14. We'll use the periodic table to find its atomic number. Nitrogen has an atomic number of 7. We now know to place 7 electrons. So again, I'll draw a circle. We'll place seven positive protons inside the nucleus of our nitrogen atom. 14 minus 7 gives us seven neutral neutrons. The mass of the nucleus is indeed seven. Notice the arrangement on the periodic table. Nitrogen is in period two, the second row down. It will have two energy levels. And one, two, three, four, five, in that outermost ring. So to finish that, we'll place two electrons in the first energy level and five more in the next. The seven electrons arranged outside the nucleus of nitrogen would have two and then five in terms of their shell. The next one we're looking at is carbon with the mass number of 13. Carbon with the mass number of 13 what is its atomic number? Well, here it is, it's number six. So here we can find six as its atomic number. So real simple, six positive protons in the nucleus. 13 minus six is seven neutral neutrons. And to arrange the six electrons, we'd place two in the first. We only need a total of six, so four more in the next energy level. So here we have carbon with the isotope mass number of 13, atomic number 6, the simple model of the atom. I'll just write here, place for oxygen. The isotope we're drawing for oxygen is number 18. 
Oxygen's atomic number is number 8. So we're drawing an isotope very far away from the average mass of 15.999. We're drawing one for isotope 18. But again, its atomic number is 8. So I'll just change color here. We can get our 8 positive protons inside the nucleus. 18 minus 8 is 10 neutral neutrons inside the nucleus. So the sum of those two particles matches the mass number. And we can arrange two electrons in the first energy level. Remember, we only need 8 to match the atomic number. So that gives us 6 more in the second energy level. Here is the oxygen. You know what I did? I used the O for the symbol oxygen as the nucleus. Silly me. There is an oxygen symbol, 18 over 8. That was a mistake.